everyone, my name is Sarah. If you've been following along and know my intro, I make videos about my nursing school journey or my nursing journey. And thank you for following along with me. Today, I am going to be bringing you along with how I'm preparing for my semester, um, which starts Friday, today's Sunday. So it starts Friday, March 11th. And you might be wondering, March sounds like a kind of odd time for a spring semester to start. And that's just because my school divides their semesters in half, like session A, which starts in January and session B starts in March. Um, so I'm starting school in session B. So I'm taking, as of right now, I'm taking um, modern US history. I'm taking human development and I'm taking a college math class. Summer is a whole nother ball game, but um, yeah. So I will be doing little clips of me getting ready, preparing for the semester. Um, Cause I don't think I can do it all in one night, but we'll see. So right now my apartment's a mess. I'm gonna clean it and like this video if you want an apartment tour. Cause I don't think I've ever done a formal one. I know you've seen like bits and pieces of my apartment, but if you want me to make an apartment tour, like comment and like this video. So um, first I'm gonna start with my dishes because I always put that off. Um, <laughs> so you get to see all my dirty dishes. My mom's gonna be like, you're oversharing, stop putting all your dirty laundry on the internet. But like, oh well. I don't even know what to do at this point. So, um, I'm basically just gonna like clean up a little bit because I do have quite the bit of dishes. And then I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna, where I'm gonna study. It's like I, when I first designed this apartment over the summer with my dad, like, I wasn't going to school. I didn't think I'd be going to school. So um, here I am though, and I have a dining table, I have a desk where my computer is, and I have like a living room, but I don't really know where. So we'll figure that out. I don't feel like doing dishes anymore. So we're gonna move on to um, figuring out where I'm gonna study. So I have like my living room kind of, it's like a mess. I have like laundry and stuff. I don't feel like that's like the best place. Well, I don't know, it might be because especially if I go paperless, I don't really, if I'm working on my laptop, like I, it's not like I need like books, you know? So maybe I'll study in my, maybe I'll make my living room like my study spot. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to clean this spot. So I know it's like kind of messy, but, cause I, I guess it might make sense because I have like this little like thingy with my like nursing school books. I don't know, what do you guys think? Like, should I? Cause I definitely don't want to send in my bed. I know that that's a no-no. And I guess it's a separate room. Like my, my, my TV is in there, but I feel like it's distraction free enough. But I don't know. I'm not sure. But if I do decide to make this my study space, I feel like it's kind of good. Cause this couch is comfy though. I will take naps on this couch though. It's very comfy. I literally got it off of Amazon and it was only like $400. And anyone that's ever shopped for a couch before like knows how expensive couches can be. Like even the least expensive couches at Ikea are like $600 or so. So finding a $400 couch, and let me just show you the shape really quick. It's like so nice. And honestly like the perfect size for this apartment too. I'm just gonna put my, hold on. I'm just gonna put my laundry. And I just think it's so cool. Like the, the couch is like the perfect size for my space. Like it's not too big. It's actually a lot smaller than it looks. Like if I sit on it, I'm like five foot five and I can, it, I can put my feet on it. <laughs> and I'm 
you know, not like that tall, but I'm not short either, but it's the perfect length for my legs. If I'm like sitting up straight, like if I'm like slouching in it, then my feet hang off, but it's a good, I guess, I guess I'll study in here. So then I need to make it more conducive to studying. So I might move my art cart. That's what I call it. It's like those trendy, like rolling three-tiered carts. <laughs> I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. Hold on. So I rolled out this art cart from my closet. That's like, that's what, like, what else would you call this thing? Like we all, we've seen this in Target and Michaels, right? Like we know what this is. So my idea is to basically put my school supplies on this, you know, like paper clips or highlighters or whatever. And this way, like I can roll it wherever I am if I need it. Um, I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet. Maybe next to the lamp over here, but my idea is to find a new home for my school supply stuff, but it all in one place so I can move it around. I don't know if my printer will fit on the top, but if it does, that would be so cool. I doubt it will. I don't think so. Um, <laughs> so, you know, I have one spot for like my notebook, and my file folders, whatever. I'm even thinking of getting a second charger for my laptop because I fall asleep with my computer on next to me. And so naturally I have my charger plugged in to the outlet next to my bed. But I have a feeling that if I do schoolwork in here, I'm gonna like, I don't know. I don't know if this is too high maintenance, but like unplugging my charger next to my bed and then putting it in here and then going to bed. And it just, it's such a hassle. So I don't know, I might get a new charger and just keep one dedicated to over here, but that's beside the point. But I'm thinking of turning this into like a school supply hub and keep, if, if, you know, I'm gonna be studying in this room, I might as well, right? I don't know. Okay, so I put the little cart thing together and I'm pretty proud of how it turned out. Yeah. Um, it's not finished yet, but I think, you know, I could easily start the semester with it like this, just because I'm planning on being a, paper, a paperless student, like I'm an online student and I plan on taking notes on my iPad and I'm planning on having my textbooks on my iPad so there isn't a whole lot of need for like your traditional school supplies, but I still have some just in case. So um, I am taking a math class. So I'm, I know I'm gonna need a calculator. I'm putting that on my list. Um, but I have like a whiteboard, just like a little small one so I can work out math problems. Um, and if I hate, <laughs> if I end up hating my whiteboard, I have just like a spare journal I can just you know, put math problems in. Um, dry erase markers. Um, I have a, some jars. So one is paper mate flare pens, but I absolutely love them. And the other um, are the mild, leather, mild liner highlighters along with some mechanical pencils, um, a Rogue um, x one marker, and two Micron pens. I love my Micron pens too. And in this bin down here, I just have some index cards, Sharpie markers, um, highlighters that, you know, <laughs> Highlighters, um, a pair of scissors, some sticky notes, just like random school supply stuff. Sticky notes. I love these page markers. Um, and I have some paper clips. I know I'm gonna need a stapler, but I have staples. <laughs> um, and that's it for this. And then I just have my fever boats down here. And I really don't think I'm gonna need that much. I don't even know if I'm gonna use this, but I just wanna experiment a little bit with what I put on my little school supply cart. And um, yeah, so now I'm gonna just clean up, you know, a little bit, make sure everything's all tidy and ready to go. Hello, so um, I am back with more preparing for the semester. I'm a little cold, so I put on my robe that my brother got me for Christmas. Um, I 
am in my little study nook that I made last night and I have my cart over there and laundry that I never put away, but we're gonna pretend that that's not there. Um, tonight, um, cause I got home from work, so I am preparing for the semester by doing some prep modules for my college. Whoa, where is that coming from? <laughs> for my college math class. Um, I have a lot of modules to do between now and Friday because I did some research in this particular class. Like there was like a placement test that you needed to take to like in order to like even like take the class and I took it and you know, I got in whatever. Um, but there is like, I, there's a lot of concept that based off of my placement test, I'm like rusty on, which, you know, makes sense. I haven't done math since high school and I haven't, I got up to pre-calc for my senior year and I missed half of my senior year cause I was like in the hospital. So, um, I haven't done like actual math since like 11th grade and that was in like 2016 <laughs> so, so you can just imagine what a nightmare this is um so yeah I'm going to be doing that for I don't know the next few hours until my boyfriend wakes up and he will message me when he wakes up and I will just spend some time with him because that's been my routine lately I've, which is, it's gonna catch up to me because like I work nights right now so it like works out I get home and I study or I do I do whatever and go to bed it's gonna catch up with me though when I need to wake up at four in the morning and start my shift at 4 30 it's like yeah <laughs> so my computer screen I guess I don't know how to else, like show you what it looks like but um it looks like this <laughs> you can see all of the gray is the area, or, you know, that's, that's the stuff I need to improve. I have almost like 300 topics to go over. That's so cute. That is so cute. Um, between now and Friday. So I will be preparing by going over these now. So um, I have my iPad and actually, hold on. Dandy dandy rolling cart that I put together last night. I'll leave that here. I'm gonna just like lounge. I'm gonna just like, you know, cause I'm trying to, um, my goal is to get this whole study situation down. So when I start school, I'm not like completely lost. And then when I start nursing school, I'll really have my stuff down. So that's my goal. Um, oh my goodness. Okay. This is fun. Okay, here we go. So I've been at it for, I don't really know how long. <laughs> Feels like a little while, like a half hour maybe. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you my progress so far. So I think, yeah, my system for math so far is kind of just writing down the topics like as I go. So do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I did 10 topics so far. So just a little like glimpse of what my math notes look like. It's kind of just copying down like the examples and then writing out the examples myself. And it makes sense to me just so I can feel like I'm not gonna forget. And if I needed to look back on doing something, like I can. So I wrote down like the um, title of the topic at the top and then I kind of just would write out the problems which is why it's kind of difficult to share math notes is because like I'm not gonna write down okay so first we're gonna multiply this because of this like if I know it in my head I'm just gonna like write it and it, it makes sense 
to me. Like, I don't know. So I feel like the thing that's tricky is graphing, like writing down notes for that. So I literally just like took screenshots of the lesson and just stuck it in there. And <laughs> so, um, so far it's working, I think. I'm catching on pretty quick. Um, at first, like I tried to use my whiteboard and then I was like, no, I kind of want to be able to look back on it. So that's why I'm using my iPad. Just, so yeah, that's why I'm using my iPad and I'm just like writing it down with my Apple Pencil. So as I go through the lesson, um, I just like write it down and then I just swipe to go to the next topic. Yeah, so I write down the prop, like I write down like the topic and then this one might be kind of difficult to like put into the thingies. So <laughs> I'm gonna just take a little screenshot. And then <laughs> airdrop it to myself. Like back to Finder. Do, 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 downloads. Where did it go? Oh, maybe in recent. Yeah, it is. And then I just airdrop it to myself. <laughs> and then I go into Good Notes. And I literally just smack the image in there. <laughs> and it's pretty easy. So I just. Yeah. So if I needed to look at it again, I can, and then I'll just move on to the next. See, this is why like, I'm glad I'm going paperless because the old me would have literally printed out every single like practice problem and it would have put it in a binder. Like that's something that I would do. And I'm glad that I have my iPad so I can literally just, you saw how easy that was and it's all in one place. And I have everything organized by class now so I have my human development in here so I have my textbook and some self-studying notes that I've been doing and my textbook which is in a weird pdf form and then math 142 this is like my self-study notebook and it's so helpful like I you can see I caught on to this pretty quickly but some of the stuff is a little bit like more involved than others and like that's okay like I'm just going with it that's kind of like where I'm at right now yeah I'm gonna keep doing this until my boyfriend wakes up because he is sleeping because he his sleep schedule is worse than mine <laughs> like imagine waking up at two o'clock in the morning like I, I I guess he's so he's so far behind that he's ahead at this point and like I'm the one that's behind like I'm the one falling asleep at 4 a.m. But when you have someone waking up at 1 a.m., like it feels backwards to you, but he's definitely ahead of me, but it's fine. I have an email. Let's see what it's about. Oh, Etsy. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm gonna probably do that. I don't know, like, if you really want to watch me do math problems all night, probably not. So I will see you when I'm doing something more interesting, <laughs> whether that's like tomorrow or the next day. So it is Wednesday, March 9th, and I went on to my school's like courses website assignment thing. Yeah, so my math class is online, so I get to look at my syllabus. Very exciting. I briefly went over, um, I went over my assignments and like when they're due just because of let me just show you how they did it. So they did this and so I can like see my syllabus and then I can also see, oh wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, there we go. So yeah, I can see like when everything's due, which is kind of cool. And it looks like this class won't be that difficult. I can't really tell. My placement test questions and um, the questions that I've been doing to prepare for this class seem a little bit more advanced than what the class like actually is. This class feels pretty straightforward and like more basic. I, I don't know what I was expecting, but just like not this. So I'm like, this almost seems like an Algebra 2 trig 
pre-calc class type thing, which is good news for me because that means that I think just based off of the classes that I took in high school, I'll be very well prepared for this class. So I don't, I'm not like that worried. So I am going to get my iPad, which is over here. I'm a little silly goose today. I'm gonna get my iPad and read through the syllabus more carefully and like annotate and stuff. Oh yeah, side note, it's snowing. Literally the second week of March and yet this. It's actually turning more into rain now. Although my camera wants to focus on something that's not the net, but um, yeah, isn't that like so cute? I attempted to show outside, but my camera really just wanted to focus on the screen of the window instead of outside the window. But oh well, you get the point, it's, it's snowing. And I wasn't expecting it, honestly. I was expecting it to be rainy, but nature had other plans, I guess. So I'm gonna annotate, not annotate, but you know, like take notes, read through my syllabus, and I will you later so it is later like much later um i read through my syllabus um each test is worth 10 percent of my grade there are five tests but there's no final so that's a plus um so basically i have a um like an initial like skills assessment and that's i think in my head what i was preparing for because i was like i saw on like one of the class discussion forums from like a previous semester it's like oh for math 142 like you need to do those prep modules so then when you take your initial assessment like you don't have as much work and so i watched a video that my instructor put together and she basically was like so there's going to be an assessment basically showing you how much you know so then when you go through the math course um it'll tailor the course to what you know and what you don't so if you do well on the, the, in the on the initial assessment you won't have as many questions per each like section and if you don't do as well you're it's going to give you more practice so that's i think in my head like I, I i read something about that and then when i saw it i was like oh so that is due on march 19th i think that assessment assignment i think it's due in like 10 days from now um just for kicks, I'm gonna show you. I don't know if you remember what my um of what you, if you want to rewind to like I don't know how many nights ago it was, but I had the circle graph thing with my um at the circle graph thing with all that gray showing you like oh like I have a lot of stuff to work on. I have worked on that a lot since. I, I don't know, I might have been two, three nights ago. So I'm just trying to log into it really quick. Um, and I've come a long way. I don't realize, I didn't realize how, how few topics I had covered at the time. I think my number was like 11 or something, something like really low. And now this is what my circle looks like. <laughs> looks like this so certain just i i press the continue my path button and it just won't give me these topics but it gives me a lot of this so i'm a lot more well like well-rounded now and i mastered a lot more so i'm kind of confident that if i like take this if you know if i don't get to any more prep modules like you know this won't like kill me you know and i feel like i'll be okay I feel like other than that, I did really all that I could to prepare for the semester. Like I put my study space together. I have access to one of my syllabi, one of them, you know, still better than none. Um, the semester starts, officially classes start on Monday. They'll be available on Canvas starting Friday, but apparently my math showed up today. So I was like, oh, um, I was not expecting that. <laughs> um, so yeah, my classes will be available on Friday, but I won't be able to actually do anything until Monday. So then I'm like, why would they just, it's fine. So classes officially start Monday. I thought I'd be able to get a head start of my classes. Apparently not. I'm a little bit disappointed, but it's fine. I'm a little scared. I'm not gonna lie, going to the semester, I haven't taken a class in four and a half years. That's a long time. Not as long as some people going back to school, but 
it's still an adjustment, and especially one of them being a math class. <laughs> so I'm just glad that they gave me a prep module system like this, even though I didn't fully utilize it and do every single thing. I definitely am glad that I got to use it at all. So um, yeah, I am a little bit scared. I looked at my grading scale for this class and getting an A plus is a 97 and up. Realistically, I want to shoot for that A plus, obviously. But anything between an 89.5, which is an A minus, and an A plus, I'm okay with. It's basically 90s, you know, is what I'm shooting for. Um, I don't know how practical or realistic that is, but that's what I want. So we're gonna try to get, we're gonna try to do that. I'll update you as my nursing journey goes along. Um, again, I don't know. I probably should have said this in the beginning. Um, I don't know if I'm getting into nursing school yet. The school that I applied to, they are sending out their decisions this month. Um, so it's going to be any day now that you see a decision video. So um, if you want to see my face again and you want to know how this all goes, subscribe. Um, thank you to everyone who has been following along with me on my nation journey. It helps me feel a lot less alone and I hope you feel less alone if you're going through one too. Um, yeah, so I will, I guess, film a week in the life when classes start. So you'll see me very, very soon. Um, and I will see you next time.